Hi, Tracy here with BibleDrillingMinistries.com and today we're making faith dex cards. So if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. You're going to need the Psalm 62 1 My Soul Rest in God printable. This is available on our website for purchase for only $5 and if you purchased the Illustrating Bible this one here using our affiliate links. You are welcome to download it for free. And it's also available if you are our, one of our Momentum members and you support our ministry that way, uh, you also will get this as well in your bonus file. So there's so many ways to get this free printable. I hope that you just really enjoy it and have fun with it. Again, you can get it in Momentum. You can get it for free if you purchase the Bible or you can purchase it as well in our store. So I will make sure you have some links down there. But I use the first page I have printed out as stickers. So I've printed it out and I've cut it out with my machine. And then I have the second one I'm using has the uh, Faith X cards printed out on cardstock, so I can really just be simple, simple and easy to get one of these Faith X cards made. I just think they're so fun and such a great way to either write scripture or be reminded of scripture. There's so many different ways you can use the Faith X cards as well as writing prayers, and I, I probably will write a prayer today because uh, I have something that's on my heart that's been kind of weighing on me. So I'll be using that and I have that printed out in cardstock and then I won't be using this one. The third page this is the third page. I actually printed my third page out on clear sticker paper because I do plan to use it in another video with the illustrating Bible. So I'm just really excited about this new Bible. I think it's so pretty and I just love how we created this that just kind of coordinates with it and is just super cute. So uh, to do this scripture card or the faith dex card, this is just an example of what my faith dex card, I have a few of these. And we did faith dex cards in Momentum. So if you are a Momentum member, just go ahead and look in January 2020 under Technique Courses. And there's a series of five or so courses there for you to learn how to make all different kinds of faith dex cards. And for today, I'm just going to be using some Distress Oxide with a little dauber, some glue stick, maybe some pop dots. Um, that's really about what I'm going to be doing. So again, I've printed this out on cardstock paper. Let me zoom in so you can get really close up of the work that I'm doing. You're not so far away. It's <laughs> sometimes you're a little, a little bit too far. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and just ink the edge of my Faith Dex card with the Distress Oxide. I'm just going to come in with my dauber, just grab some of that Distress Oxide on it, and then just start inking the edge. It's super easy. And if I want more ink, I'm just going to apply a little more pressure. And I'm just scraping along the side. Just giving this little Dex card a little dimension. And these are so fun to use, guys. You can use Again, like I said before, the Faith Dex cards go really well with scripture, scripture writing, your daily scripture writing, um, or <laughs> monthly or weekly, depending on your frequency. <laughs> um, and they're so awesome to keep by your desk. I keep them by my desk for prayer, um, especially if I'm praying for somebody. I'll put their picture on one, and it'll remind me to pray for them. But today I'm going to do Psalm 62.1. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to each of these. Just kind of give it a little bit of color on the edge. It's going to be a little harder to see on the gray. But you will be able to see it on the pink in just a moment. These little daubers you can find from Amazon. I will make sure that you have our link to our store anytime you use our links, you do support us and you support our channels and help us to make more videos. It's so encouraging uh, to do that and we appreciate it so much. And um, it doesn't cost you anymore, so <laughs> it helps us out. It doesn't cost you anymore. It's a win-win for everybody. And so I'm just coming along and inking the edges of each of these pieces just to give it a little dimension. And I do, probably don't need to do it that much with the gray, but there is a little white that either I can trim off with my hand or just ink. My soul rests in God alone. My salvation is from Him. Psalm 62, 1. So this is just a really easy way to create 
a Faith Dex card. Just a little bit of inking and really a little bit of glue. <laughs> okay, um, so that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and put some glue on the back of these. If you have a sticker maker, you can use a sticker maker as well. I just don't have one handy. I do have one, it's just not handy. <laughs> and I will go ahead and just add some glue to the back of these. And with a glue stick, it doesn't dry so fast, so it's okay if you, if you glue them all first. Except for they get everywhere. And the glue, okay. So that's that, and I can go ahead and start placing these down where I want them. Um, it's really nice that even when you're doing these Faith Dex cards, you may be like, oh, but you're not writing the verse. You know how many times I've already said this verse on camera, <laughs> and I'm now thinking about it again. <laughs> so I, <laughs> I can make sure I get them all right. My soul rests in God alone. And isn't this nice to really just kind of think about this as you're placing them down? You don't always have to just write scripture to memorize them. Um, just reading them and um, saying them out loud sometimes really helps helps with your memorization. So it doesn't always have to, and, and especially if you're doing something with your hands, at least for me, um, when I'm doing something with my hands, it really helps me to connect and uh, remember verses that way too. Psalm 62, verse 1, My soul rests in God alone, my salvation is from Him. I'm going to put that right here. I like how the words are kind of staggered like that. And then I can come in and maybe with um, some other elements like this one here with a little cross. I could just put a little cross here um, and, you know, call it a day really. You don't need that much with these little cards. But this is what I do. I just make my little Faith Dex cards. I've got a little piece of dimensional pop dot here that I'm thinking I might want to use. So I just come in here and I add it to the back. Little piece, tiny piece. And see if I pop that up, see if I like that or not. Mm, nope. Don't like it. I'm going to go ahead and just glue one down. Sometimes I like it, sometimes I don't. And that's a great thing. I mean, this is your Bible journaling or your Faith Dex card art. You can do it however you want. Oh, that's pretty like that. Let's see if there's anything else I want to add to this. This looks good as it is, so sometimes I don't like to add too much. Um, I'm going to... I'm going to leave it as it is for now, and I'll put it aside while I work on the other one. The only other thing I was thinking I might do is come in and out, outline it with a pen, maybe. I'm not sure. I'm just going to stick it to the side for now. So that there it is right there. I'm going to stick it to the side for now, let it dry, and start working on the next piece. Uh, for this piece here, I'm going to go ahead and put this here. I'll write my prayer probably off camera because it's really weighing on my heart. It's it's a personal, um, well, one of my friends, I guess one of my friend's um, relative passed away. So I just wanted to write a prayer for her, and it's personal. So I'm going to, she asked not to post anything on social media, so I'm just going to leave it blank and I will do the scripture or her prayer later. But I like um, this kind of popping out a little bit. So I'm going to add a pop dot there to the back. And then for the pop dot dots, I don't know if you guys do this, but I always save these extra pieces. I don't throw them away. I just cut them off and I'll use them um, for smaller things like the little leaf here. And I get some support with that little leaf there. And I'm thinking I'm going to put it right here. So it's kind of popped out. And um, 
I still have the little piece here that is not pulled off. I'm going to leave that right now uh, so that I can write my prayer in here. And then I can move this around as I'm writing my prayer and then I can stick this down. So I don't um, put too much over it. And then I'm going to take... I like this and I'm not wanting to pop it I like initially I thought I would pop it up a little bit but there's already too this is already kind of overwhelmingly popped up so I'm not going to do that I'm just going to add some glue to it and press it down I like the idea of this different color so I'm going to add that as well and I'm adding it a little bit late but that's okay. The reason why I said I add it a little bit late was because I put that ugh, I put this down and now I'm going to add something underneath it. Just, I'm just making it harder on myself. But that's okay. It's not about efficiency <laughs> when you're here doing your work. It's about spending time thinking of others, thinking of, you know, the prayer that I'm going to be writing here soon, thinking about Psalm 62, 1, my soul rests in God alone, my salvation is from him. And with the passing of my friend's nephew, um, we believe he was saved. Um, it's just hard. So I'm going to put this down. I'm trying to figure out if I want to do a shadow. That would be kind of cool to do a little shadow, shadowing. A little shadowing. Gotta work with these little tiny pieces sometimes. Hmm. Okay. So to do the little shadowing, I'm gonna add this one down first, like so. And then I'm gonna come in with this one after that. Just adding a little glue to it, a little bit of glue and placing it down so I have a little bit of a shadowy effect. Okay, that looks good. Now the other thing I could have done was I could have inked the edge of this piece. That would have been something that would have been cool to do. Not necessary, but I could have given it a little, given it a little more dimension. And I'm definitely gonna ink the edges of this one as well. And I like these little daubers because you can put your finger in them and it gives you a little more control. And it just makes them fun to use as well. All right, I'm pretty happy with this one as well. So I do have some extra pieces. I thought I was gonna use some of my stickers but I actually didn't end up using any of them. So that's okay, they'll just go in for, they'll go in probably my Bible. And let me just go ahead and outline, as I do wanna outline these words here. So when I outline, I just try to stay as close as I can to the square itself. I'm trying to see if you can, I'm trying to, move my hand out of the way so you can see how I'm outlining because I always mess up on the outline and I go over the words sometimes and I'm like oh no so it's just a careful process here of just outlining just go slow 
A lot of times when I mess up, I'm usually just going too fast. But I like how the outline just kind of helps it pop from the page. And it's another opportunity <laughs> for us to read Psalm 62-1, right? So scripture cards, these little faith decks cards, any of those type of things that you do, just another opportunity for you to just spend some time with God, thinking about His Word, thinking about how awesome He is and how thankful we are that our salvation is from God. And um, one day we will return to Him and we will rejoice in that moment. And those left here will be sad, like I am a little bit today, a little bit sad today. Um, but also rejoicing, you know. It's so fascinating how, as a Christian, we can be both sad that um, someone has left us, but yet still rejoiceful, especially when we know that person is saved. And so we're happy for him and sad that we have to wait to spend time with him. in the future when we get to go to heaven. And we get to go to heaven when it's our turn, right? We can't rush that process. That's that's God's thing. And until we get to go to heaven, we're going to be here glorifying God, making wonderful faith decks cards and sharing them with the world. I hope that this video was helpful to you. Um, what I'll do next is I'll just take my little faith decks card here, I'll place it in my holder here, just like that. Um, I'll stick it right in there, and um, it'll be now one of my many Faith X cards that I have. I also have another one right here. This is a Faith X holder. Um, you can get one of these off Etsy, and um, this is a Rolodex holder. Sorry, this is kind of big, right? Let me zoom you out just a little bit. <laughs> And uh, you can see here that I have my, sis my sister and my kids, you know, who I pray for. And, um, you know, you can put the, the card right in there. And that's where it will go. I can close the lid. It works just fine. And I can put my little prayer card in there after, of course, I write my prayer for today. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And you guys, I hope this was helpful. Give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And you have a wonderful, beautiful day. Bye.